Hey guys, first off, I just want to say thanks for all, all the awesome responses on the last video and for everyone who voted on the awesome app ideas you guys had. Um, I am going to close voting tomorrow around noonish, so you guys still have a little bit of time from if you're watching this video on Friday. And I will have the next video up tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But for right now, I want to discuss something that is uh, great that just got announced last week, which is Apollo, also known as the Apollo stack. This is developed by Meteor, and it just got into development, and what they're aiming to do is to create a reactive GraphQL data layer. This data layer is going to be very powerful and, and different from a lot of the things that we've seen. It's going to be first of its kind, a lot of people are referring to it, to it as. Um, to give you a brief rundown of what GraphQL is, and I'll give you an example later, so if you're not catching it right now, just... Just hold on. GraphQL allows you to send in JSON data. So define all of the data that you want in JSON data or JSON-like data. It's not the exact same thing. And you'll receive JSON objects structured exactly like how you sent it. This is a lot different than from a REST API because with, with this GraphQL query string, you can define these really robust queries without having to do multiple calls. So you could have seven things returned to you, whereas with a REST API, you would have to do seven different calls to get those seven different things. I'll just give you an example. So if you were to do a Facebook page and you wanted to return your friends, your most recent posts, which friends comment on those posts, the you know all these different things that, that are related to each other, but they're different calls, you could do that all in one call with GraphQL. And all of your views are essentially defined by that data that you write. Here's more of a high level view. And again, if you guys want more in depth view, just go to GitHub dash Apollo stack dash Apollo. And there's so much stuff to read here. And this is essentially what they're trying to do. They're trying to reactive GraphQL with mutations and mutations is basically their way of changing data. They call it mutations. And they're going to want all of this, you know, your UI rendering, your client data, your application server, and your data back end completely separate to where it's all working together in this, this really cool stack. And the coolest part about this, and you guys might be seeing this right here, is SQL support, which will essentially lead to Meteor having SQL support, which is something that's been much needed and much uh, requested by the community. So let's hop on over here. And if, we, if you go inside of the GitHub, I was doing a little bit of snooping around and I saw that they just put up this discourse-graphql. And this is by uh, Shotsko, I believe his name is. I, I listened to him on a couple podcasts. And I went ahead and git cloned this and uh, opened it right here. If you guys want to go ahead and just do git clone and do that. I already did that, so I'm not going to uh, worry about that right now. And just go ahead and CD into it and then do a sudo npm install. So you install all of the npm packages. And then what you can do is npm start. Again, there's no documentation on this because they just started it. I, you know, kind of just had to look through the code. And I believe it's a GraphQL. Okay, so if you go to localhost uh, GraphQL, which it'll say it right there, you'll see that it has this kind of uh, little interface. This is known as graphical. And from my understanding, graphical is just a way for you to test your, your GraphQL API. You can just send different queries at it. And it's a good way to visually see different things and form your queries. From my understanding, this, uh, this repo is directly connected to the Meteor API for their forms. So we have access to most of their data for the forms. We go over here and type in all posts. And again, you'll notice this is exactly like typing an object. So all posts and all posts has an ID. It has a user ID. Let's see what else it has. It has a uh, reads, like I guess how many reads there are. And we'll just hit send and we'll send this over. And you'll see we get this nice JSON data of all posts and as ID, user ID, read, boom. 
And that might not be that interesting. So something else that I saw that was super interesting is you see these different categories, latest, top, and categories. Well, we can type top right here and get the top topics that are pretty much the exact same of this. So I'll type in topics and then I'll get the ID, the title, and this is where it gets super cool, guys. Instead of me having to go and do a separate rest call to get the category, I can just type in category right here as an object, and I can get the ID of that, I can get the name of the category, and I can get the description. And send. I'll let it load a little bit. Might take a second. Boom. You guys see there we have the topics in this array with the ID and the title and the category that's associated with it. And you guys can see that all right here. Uh, another thing that I could get, I'll get the views. I'll get the, do they have the reply? Reply count, uh, word count. And again, you guys can just formulate uh, your own queries on the fly. So as, as your view needs data, you go ahead and define it right there and it's it's instantly written. And once you have this set up, you can pretty much query everything. And that's why I think GraphQL is blowing up so much. And I think Meteor is going in an awesome direction with, with wanting to build on top of GraphQL and making it more reactive. So guys, if you want to go ahead and just poke around at this and just see again, it's, it's an early, early development. So there's not a whole, whole lot for them to give to you right now. But it's open source project. If you guys feel like contributing or, or looking at through the code and just seeing where this project's going, I think that there's big things for Apollo and Meteor in general because of this. So till next time, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow when I put up the next build a web app from scratch video. Talk to you all then.